I see you staring at my nachos. These are nachos. These are machos. fishing fam welcome back to another episode of the juggalo fishing posse i am your host slash gills and we are out here today i just finished my uh, plate of nachos or my chose because they're nachos and they're my chose anyway i uh i was running out of split shot so i went ahead and grabbed some little water gremlin split shots at the bait shop down the road and of course I got me some good old crusty crawlers of the night the American version the American night crawlers not the Canadians uh, I don't have I mean nothing against Canadian night crawlers I mean it's like I'm just saying if you guys have used both types um, you know the differences that I mean. The, the Canadian ones, they just don't have those little gripper feet, you know, under them. They're just like super slimy and they're hard to hang on to and hard to put onto a hook. We are down here at the Little Beaver Dam. I am by myself and uh, I've got my belly full with a plate of nachos, I know, uh, eating Mexican and then coming out here in the hot sun and fishing I'm asking for a uh, not asking for an accident yeah anyway I'm gonna hope we can uh, avoid that but I'm gonna get out here with some night crawlers a couple of lures maybe toss them around see if anything happens I don't expect much last time we got some little catfish and uh, a couple of little bullheads you know that was kind of cool so we're gonna come out here and see if we can catch a few more see if anything else wants to bite who knows just uh just kind of killing killing some daylight right now is all i'm doing anyway come along with me fam i will catch you down at the water it seems somebody was uh either nice enough or careless enough to leave their chair here But I'll tell you, I'll be darned if I ain't going to take advantage of it. Alright fam, well, somebody left me a couple of chunks of chicken liver over here on the ground, so I'm going to use that to my advantage too. I ain't going to turn down free bait. I'm going to put him right over here, not too far out. this worm out there on the bottom that's good right there she goes got this 
little doohickey over here just to see if I can catch something else. I'm gonna go ahead and get him. Come on. Run with it. Run with it. Oh. I got something down there messing with it. Can't tell what it is. Is that a bass? No, it's a cat. Little channel cat. Looks like it. No. Bullhead. Little bullhead catfish. Well, he got all my worm, but see you, little bullhead. Another bullhead. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bite over here, too. Hang on, Mr. Bullhead. Let me check me. Nope, nothing. All right, come here. I'll get you off. Well, not in a good way, but. Not in a bad kind of way, like a dick piece, but. Uh, yeah. Another little bullhead catfish, or mud cats, as I grew up calling them. Yeah, cool stuff. Thank you, little bullhead, for showing up on the show. This may be an all bullhead episode. It's all I really got going for me right now. Well, we got something else, boys and girls. Something with a little bit more weight to him this time. Not sure what he is. Let's see. Oh, it's another cat. A bigger bullhead. A little bit bigger. All right. All right. Another little bullhead, got him a little deep. Hopefully he'll be okay. Ugh. Bullhead after bullhead after bullhead. Well fam, we got something else hooked up, but it's on the little pole this time. So hopefully this line will survive. It looks like it can survive it. Simple little cat. Oopsie daisy. We got him. Bullhead. Let me guess, you done swallowed it down to the butthole too? Hell yeah, he did. Ugh. Bullhead. See you, buddy. It's crazy the amount of bullheads in here. Like, I knew they were in here, but that seems to be all that's in here. I mean, I know there used to be bass when I was little, too, and plenty of carp, but all I'm getting today is bullhead after bullhead. I ain't complaining, but still, it's a lot of freaking bullheads. Well, fam, we got something else. He ain't real big. Looks like another bullhead. He's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Some of the other ones. 
He's got a big old noggin on him. Ugh. Ow, fins. Whoa, dude, damn. Those fins hurt like a bitch. All these freaking bullheads, they just absolutely swallow it. Yeah. Adios, Padre. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, fam, that is all the time I have got for you guys today. There's not hardly anything happening over here on this side. Getting a couple of little bitty nibbles. I missed one halfway decent fish. I don't know what the hell it was. He looked red. Or look, he had a like he had a good red tint to him. So I'm guessing he was another bullhead. If I had to guess what it was. But yeah, not a whole lot going on over here. It's starting to get dark on me. Well, not dark, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this stuff up. And I'll catch you at the car. All right, fam. Well, that's all the time I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a uh, it was a bunch of bullhead catfish. Honestly, I uh, I lost track after three or four of them. We started I started catching so many. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like bullhead. I like bullhead. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. All that good junk. And uh, here comes a big giant truck. So let us uh, let's let him pass and uh, make a lot of noise. They always gotta honk at fishermen and stuff, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Anyway, fam, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along with me. And as always, much wicked clown love. Tight lines, sharp hatchets, and I'll catch you at the water next time, clowns. Whoop, whoop.